We'll now show you another assessment that is utilized in occupational therapy called the Lowenstein Occupational Therapy Cognitive Assessment. There's a new version called the DLOTCO, which stands for Dynamic Lowenstein Occupational Therapy Cognitive Assessment. And there's also a specific one for the geriatric population called the DLOTCO G for geriatric. So or Jane. <laughs> G for Jane? Oh, for geriatric? <laughs> Jane. Um, Joan Toglia is the author of this assessment tool, and the tool was introduced as a structured graded system of cues to the assessment of cognitive and perceptual deficits among adults with cognitive impairments. So there's a variety of subtests that are done, and the areas that are identified on your scoring sheet are orientation, visual perception, spatial perception, motor praxis, visual motor organization, thinking operations, and then attention and concentration. Your packet also includes other pieces of paper that are essential for different subtests like drawing a clock. So you'll have access to that on Blackboard. So I'm gonna demonstrate with you how to perform one of these subtests with Jane as my patient. And we'll be doing item number 16, which is the pegboard construction. There's a way that you score the points. A person can earn up to five points, and it, it's defined in each of the subtests, the operational definitions, and how to assign these points. So for example, one point is that the client is unable to, unable to construct the design, or does not succeed, or is only able to construct one line. And five points would be that the client constructs the design correctly on the board. And so in order to perform this kind of standardized assessment, you would have to familiarize yourself with the directions and the manual and the scoring. So let's get started with the pegboard construction. Construct this pattern on the board with pegs. It should be identical in size and position on the board as in the picture. Tell me when you are finished. Again, if the patient is struggling, there are specific statements that you should make, and because it's standardized, you should not say anything outside of the script. But if the patient is struggling, you would give them their first prompt, which is, pay attention, don't rush. This is what you did, try again. Or please check, is yours ex exactly the same? Use all the pegs. Or another prompt is, you made a mistake here. Now complete the triangle so that it looks like the one in the picture. I'm done. We're just missing one peg. But it would go right here. Okay. 